In this module, I want to have a look at some basic formatting features that you have in OneNote. So on the Home tab, this area here is, says Basic Text. This is your formatting area. So if I just type something, so I'll just type my name. As soon as I type, it comes inside one of these containers where you have across the top some dots which you can pick up and move across the screen like so. On the right hand edge, you've got a sizing handle where you can just make it larger or smaller. And on the left hand edge, you've got a little icon which allows you to select whatever you are pointing at. And when you do that, you get this little mini toolbar that comes up, which is a bit of a replication of this one at the top there. But it's like uh, other word processing packages, you can do formatting from there. So for example, I can change the font, I can underline it, italic, bold, change the um, font itself, size and font. All of these things are available from there. I can make it to a bullet list and so on and so on. I've also got some tag features that I'll talk about later on. So I'll just click away from that. That's that one there. Just move that off. Now if I click somewhere else, basically wherever you click is, that, is where you're going to be typing. And now if I just use one of these bullet list options, I create myself a bullet list. Once I've got a bullet list, if I go into it, you can see you've got all these different icons that you can utilize. So I'll go for a telephone and then I'll just go phase one, phase two, and phase three for my little list. And it's picking up the icon. And if I go and do a numbered list, I click out of that. I can move that over there out of the way. I don't need to save anything, it automatically does it for me. If I go for a numbered list, got one I'll go phase one again enter phase two etc etc phase three and also if I drop the list down on that one you've got some different numbering options so I've got these different ones here I can pick any of these I'll pick that one and it's picked it up on that third one so I need to basically highlight everything and go for that same style so I'll drop the arrow down Pick the one with the brackets on and then all of them have got the bracket on like so if i click into another container and just type my name again steve is nice what you've also got at the top there is some indentation options so if i click on indent it's indented that in when i press enter i'm indented in i'll just type some random words nothing making sense next to that you've got another indent marker which will indent that out so you can use this in a similar way as you can use a word document you can indent text in or not there is the font color lots of different colors which you also have on the mini toolbar but for this to work now i would have to um, highlight the text i want to format and i can use it there as you saw earlier or i can just come into here and pick one of these you've got more colors as an option at the bottom there allows you to pick your own colors or even go and do a custom color if you so wish i'll just pick that it's not the best color to see you've also got this little symbol which is basically a highlighting pencil if i click a fairly light color so you can see that i click away i've sort of highlighted that and if i double click on this one i can go in there and pick a different color for that one highlighted that one also now you've got this little A symbol, so it says clear formatting, so I'll click on that and then clear formatting, so I've got rid of that, click on that one, clear formatting, so you can get rid of the formatting and that one, clear formatting, like so. Under that you've got a little X, delete, and then it will just delete whatever you've got selected, so I've deleted a letter there, if I delete the whole thing, it deletes the whole thing. If I just move this one over here, I'll say I want to get rid of the whole thing, the whole box, rather than bits of it. I can just click on it and press delete and it will go. And as I showed you in the overview, if you want to join these together, you can just do that with your shift key. And then they just bang in together like so. And then let go and then that becomes one container, one box that you can move around all set together. Now if I go and type something... If I go the 23rd, now the RD didn't go superscript there. You've got subscript there with the X down, and then you've got superscript with the X up. 
like so. So you can do that. So that's great for dates. If you want to do a chemical formula, H2SO4, for example, the two and the four would be what's called subscript. So you'd highlight the two and the four like that. And then you can do the subscript option, which was the default there. So make them come down. Do you need to do it one at a time? And then the last thing on there is the strike through tool. If I just type my name again in another container and click on that and then do the ABC, that will just strike it through. You've got the strike through option on there, which you can take off. Now, I didn't mention the alignment options. These are the alignment options. You've got some options there and then paragraph spacings that you can do. So basically, if I type a sentence, this is training. I don't know why I've got caps lock on, but I have. But let's say you want that to be centered in this box. That's centered it. If I adjust this box, it's centered in the box. So no matter how big this box is, it's always going to be centered. So that's using the alignment tool on the ribbon there as well. Last but not least is the font. Let's change it to something else. You can just change the font as normal. Likewise, with the size, change the font size like so. So that is the formatting, the basic text formatting tools that you have in OneNote. As all Microsoft packages have, you also have the Format Painter, which will copy formats. So if I just click on that, for example, and click on the Format Painter and then just paste it over here, I get my little telephone symbol copied the format now the cut copy and paste features work exactly the same so i've got over here you've got paste options so paste like so you've got three options in there but you've got the normal cut copy and paste so if i click on cut for example that's got rid of that if i click into there press enter on that one and then do paste and see what happens comes in there with my little list same with um, copy, if you highlight something, copy that, click somewhere else, paste. That will just paste that into a new container. So all those things are pretty standard. You'd see those in other pages. That's all I want to talk about in this little video, your formatting features in OneNote.